طاعت الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة Today is the day for some good vibes No clouds gonna black out all the sunshine You know I got my fresh clothes ready Let me bust a spin for them one time Everybody find it just like great Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, everybody. I hope you have all had a wonderful Eid because you probably be watching this maybe two days after Eid. Although this Eid, I believe, is a couple of days long. It's not just the one day as opposed to the previous one. But Eid Mubarak. Hope you guys have a wonderful, have had a wonderful day. Not have a wonderful. Um, I woke up at six o'clock today. Yes. 6 a.m. Did my face beat? Well, that just got really bright all of a sudden. <laughs> got the kids ready. We're supposed to go to pray. The 7.30. What time is it now? 8.38. Looks like it's not happening. Reason I wanted to go to the 7.30 is because I didn't want to go when it's super duper packed and the later you go, the more packed it is because obviously the people that slept in or the people with children you know to get children ready what is going on and it gets jam-packed that's the reason why i didn't go guys you know what you're gonna have to deal with the lighting the sun's just going in and out and that's actually why i didn't go to the last aid prayer because i had liana and i was just really worried that she was gonna scream and i couldn't get out of there and it's gonna get super packed so i decided since we didn't make it to the 7 30 for various reasons just not gonna nah, not gonna even try it because i just don't like it when there's so many people and you know babies involved and when places get super packed usually mosque spaces especially when it's indoors they don't have that much space for women and um it tends to get super crowded so not about that life but um is from binti k i will leave the link of this abaya down below and i'll leave the in slip down below but i'll probably show you guys my outfit later on but for now i just wanted to say hello and i don't know if i mentioned it but we're in london we're spending it with husband's family um yeah just for a little change he hasn't spent aid with his family for two whole years so i suggested that it would be a good idea to spend Eid with his family this year and he agreed so we're in London spending Eid here I'll probably catch you guys when I'm doing something I'm clearly not doing nothing right now just chilling hiya say Eid Mubarak she say Eid Mubarak with her gums oh are you touching her with a teeth <laughs> wow okay anyway guys me and her have had the longest nap the longest it's 11 p.m 11 30. but yeah that's what we did and now we're awake by the way how cute is her outfit hello everybody back home again this is a very all over the place lead. i know i know but we're back home now i think it's day three yeah day three of lead because this lead is a bit longer um, day one was a write-off because we were in London for Eid, like I said, and whenever we're there, it's manic. There were about 25 plus people in one house. It was crazy to say the least. Liana was just losing it. Um, I was trying to put her to sleep so many times, like, and it kept taking so long that I decided to just get my hijab off, get my abaya off, and just chill, basically. It just went by so quickly so quickly and um too many people for my liking london is good because obviously hubby gets to see his family but for me too many people we came back from london yesterday and um imagine this right liana on one side malik on one side me in the middle that's the only way she would um be fine and guess what journey from manchester to london took about six hours or seven almost not because of the journey itself but because there was a truck that went on fire so we were standstill in traffic for about two hours not moving oh my god nightmare but anyway last night pumped some milk and um gave her breakfast and everything now we're off to chaiwala chaiwala is about 20 minutes from uh, Manchester. It's in Bolton because there's none in Manchester. 20, 30 minutes. So gave her breakfast, 
gonna take this i'm gonna sit with her again anyway i just thought i would um continue this vlog i was gonna end it but yeah okay i'm coming i gotta go <laughs> Am I funny? Masala chips. Hello, <laughs> people. What is that love? Really? Hello, people. Whoa. What kind of a dream? I can't tell you. You know, you said she called when I was playing. <laughs> but, but she. she <laughs> Your dad is in the car. Not today. Not today. <laughs> you tell her. She's giving the. Do you want to fight me? Daddy! She's like a turtle. <laughs> She's like, are you serious? <laughs> Like I'm gonna come after you. <laughs> oh. Look where Liana is. <laughs> this is what I wore today. I thought I'd just give you guys a quick o OTD. That's my outfit for today. What do you guys think? Excuse my dirty mirror. I need to do a uh, deep clean. But yeah, there we go. I bought these shoes from New Look in London. And I love it. It was on sale for £12. Kitten heels. Not too high, yeah? Here is Liana trying to crawl to get that wire. Well, we should take that out. Now you can't get it, little girl. Oh, oh my god. Liana? No wires. Liana? No wires. Okay? No wires. She still wants to go get it. Uh oh. Who's here? Papa's here. Papa's here. <laughs> Hello. I'm coming back. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. My husband and me talking business. We might be business partners very soon. I'm about to invest very heavily. <laughs> anyway, I just got back from um, Chaiwala. My gosh, we must have had three hot drinks each. Tried one new drink. Um, by the way, this is not sponsored or anything. I haven't been there since Malik was three. Long time. Anyway, I just fancied something different. Yeah, so I got saffron tea takeaway. I got a big cup and I just warmed it up. And I even took away a spicy omelette wrap type of thing with cheese. So yum. My husband had it and I was like, wow, who else always steals the husband's food because they always order better food than them? Me, got a takeaway, I'm about to have it right now, and we're just chilling really. Just chilling, gonna have some good quality family time. We're about to stick a movie on, make some popcorn. You can hear Liana crying, so I'm gonna put her to sleep so the three of us can sit, watch a movie with popcorn, some ice cream. Um, I bought Hagen Daz yesterday, and just relax, get my makeup off, get my hijab off, you know, get into PJs, and that's how we're about to spend the rest of our day. 
Uh, first we're going to put those two in the bath because they need it. But um, I'll show you guys the omelette, spicy omelette wrap that I'm about to devour. But I just wanted to come on and end this AIDS vlog. It's very different than my other AIDS vlogs. This one was a mishmash like. But you know what? It's the true reality. No AIDS is the same as the one before. All AIDS for us have been different and um, they've been really good. We haven't spent AIDS in London in about two years, so this is the first time in two years. But it was lovely, it was. Um, I just thought I'd end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a lovely AIDS. Do let me know in the comment section below what you did, how you spent your AIDS. I asked you on Instagram and I had so many different responses, all different and very interesting to read so I'd love to read what you guys got up to on your Eid and how you celebrated even if you just slept all day. I know that's what I would have done if I wasn't married, had kids, you know. Anyway, I hope you guys had a lovely Eid and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye guys. I did say I was going to show you guys the spicy omelette, right? So it's got cheese. I just warmed it up and um, I'll show you guys what's inside. I don't know what it's called, but it's chickpeas. <laughs> but to devour this and my saffron tea. Catch you guys in the next video, which will be a weekly vlog. Okay, bye bye. You know I got my fresh clothes ready. Let me bust a spin for them one time. Everybody vibing cause life.